Hello class 4th, I am back again with a new lesson and today we are going to cover a poem from a ghost book. The name of the poem is The Silver House and it is written by John Lee. Okay, tell me class 4, what does come in your mind when you first heard this name house? Hmm, definitely, whenever we are Hearing this word house, तो हमारे mind में सबसे पहले क्या picture create होती है? We think about our own house. We create the picture of our own house. Or the houses which are in our neighborhood, right? Our neighbor's house, right? Or the houses in our locality. Hmm. अच्छा, मुझे ये बताओ. Ma'am is living in other colony. You all are living in different colonies. Your friends are living in different colonies. Your relatives are living in different colonies or maybe different cities or maybe in different states. Right? Okay, tell me. Can we all have a common neighbor? Can we have the same neighborhood? Hmm? Ho sakta hai agar hum eki colony mein shift ho jai? Nain, nain, nain. I am not saying that. We have to stay at our houses in different cities, in different states, in different colonies. Still, can we have a same neighbor? Confused away. <laughs> yes, we have a same neighbor. Ma'am is talking about a neighbor in space. Okay. Stars, they are our neighbors. You can also see them. I can also see them by sitting at our home at our own home right we are having the same neighbor moon sun right to hum ko roj wo dikhte hain right the poet is in this poem is talking about one of that neighbor only he is calling the silver house to one of that neighbor only okay so now you have to guess कि which neighbor of our space can be called silver house? Hmm. Okay, I am giving you a hint so that it will be easy for you to guess. Hmm. Tell me, what do you see up in the sky at night that is round in shape? Yes, it is moon. It is moon. Okay. Can we call it silver moon? Yes. Why we call it silver moon? Is it made of silver? No. It looks like silver. Right? It shines like silver. So, the color of the moon is silver. And why we are calling this moon house? Can anyone live in this house? Can anyone live at moon? Scientifically, तो it is not possible. लेकिन जब हम stories में सुनते हैं, आपको पता है? चलो मैं आपको एक बात बताती हूँ. When we were small kids, our parents used to tell us stories about moon. हम्म? आपके parents भी बताते होंगे, आपके teachers भी बताते हैं nursery, kg, first, second, जब आप छोटे बच्चे थे, है ना? आपने बहुत सारी चांद के बारे में कहानियाँ सुनी होंगी. हम्म? अच्छा मैं बताती हूँ कि मेरे parents ने मुझे क्या कहानी सु when we used to go to bed, तो हम अपनी विंडो से या कभी छत पर सोते थे, तो we used to look at the moon. At the same time, our parents used to tell a story about moon. और वो हमें क्या बताते थे? That in the moon, there is an old lady who lives there. हम्म, और ये सुनने के बाद, जब हम moon को देखते थे, we could actually see the figure of that lady in the moon. हम्म, और कभी-कभी वो हमें बताते थे that there is a child, laughing child who lives in the moon. तो after listening that when we look at the moon, we were able to see that laughing child figure in the moon. हम्म तो what does I want to say that when we create a picture in our mind and look at the moon, we could see that picture actually in the moon. And why it happens? That we are going to know when we will read this poem. Okay. Maybe the poet is also having the same kind of experience. Or maybe it is the creation of the poet's mind. Because poetry is always the creation of poet's mind. So now we will learn this beautiful poem. 
and what does this silver house means the moon okay now we will see ki whose house is this who is living in this this house okay shall we start the poem okay so here's our poem let me first recite it for you there's a lovely house in the sky as round as silver crown it takes two weeks to build it up and two to pull it down there's a man who lives in the silver house in a lonely sort of way but what his name is no one knows or no one likes to say yet when you go to bed tonight just draw the window blind and peep out at the silver moon this lonely man to find but if this house is taken down and all the sky is bare then go to bed because of course the poor man won't be there so this is our poem now let us understand what the poets want to say there's a lovely house in the sky now here the poet is telling that there is a lovely house in the sky and that lovely house is the moon as round as silver crown silver crown means an old english crown means an old english coin coin pata hai na aapko kya hota hai ah what is the shape of the coin round and it it is silver in color so both the qualities moon is also i mean it is round in shape and it is also shines like silver so the poet is comparing it with an english coin so the poet is telling it is as round as the silver coin the house is as round in shape as a silver coin it takes two weeks to build it up and two to pull it down acha mujhe batao have you ever noticed the shape of the moon is it always round in shape no sometimes it is half sometimes it is quarter kabhi bahut quarter se bhi kam hota hai na to that's what he is explaining here that it takes two weeks to build it up moon takes 15 days two weeks time 14 days to build its full shape and then we have then we have full moon night right and two to pull it down then the next after full moon night the next 15 days it grows smaller and smaller and finally for one day there is no moon and then we are having no moon night hmm? so he is saying it takes moon takes two weeks to build this house takes two weeks to build it up and then two weeks to pull it down means it dismantle it disappears from the sky there's a man who lives in the silver house in a lonely sort of way now the poet is describing that a man is also who lives in this silver house who lives in the moon maine bataya na aapko when we were kids when we were small children to hamare parents ne hame chand ki story sunai to we have created that there's there is someone living in the moon hai na Uh, even in small junior classes many nursery rhymes are also there which are describing this moon man in the moon hmm yaad hai aapko chalo suna deti hu main ek aapko the man in the moon looked out of the moon and this is what he said it's time that now i am getting up and babies went to bed suniye ye poem Uh, my mother to always used to sing it for me okay so from childhood only we create this picture that there is someone living and the same thing the poet is telling that there's a man who lives in the silver house ki there is a man who lives in the silver house and in a lonely sort of way but a lonely se way mein sort of way means the way which we cannot describe exactly so in a very lonely sort of way he is living but what his name is no one knows or no one likes to say but what is his name what is the name of that man no one knows ab why no one knows kyunki actually there is no man actually the dark patches on the moon makes pattern on the surface which appears which resemble like a man's figure or face so when we create a picture of a man or any animal and we looked at the moon then we are able to see that picture in the moon 
तो दैट्स वाई द पोएट इज टेलिंग हेयर दैट वॉट हिज नेम इज नो वन नोज एंड नो वन लाइक्स टू से येट वेन यू गो टू बेट टू नाइट जस्ट ट्रो द विंडो ब्लाइंड विंडो ब्लाइंड मीन्स द कवरिंग ऑफ द विंडो कर्टन्स विच कीप्स द लाइट आउट सो द पोएट इज टेलिंग गेट वेन यू गो टू बेट टू नाइट तो आपको क्या करना है यू हैव टू पुल द कर्टन्स ऑफ योर विंडो एंड यू हैव टू पीप आउट लुक द आउट एट द सिल्वर मून दिस लोनली मैन टू फाइंड वाई यू हैव टू लुक एट द मून सो दैट यू कैन फाइंड आउट दिस मैन ओके सो दिस इज अ टास्क विच द पोएट इज असाइनिंग अस ठीक है तो आपने भी अब यही करना है कि आपने अब रात को जब जाना है बेड पर तो आपको कर्टन्स अपनी विंडोज के हटाने हैं एंड यू हैव टू लुक एट द मून एंड यू हैव टू ट्राई दिस मैन विच द पोइट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग टू अस और फिर आप मुझे बताना कि आपको वो मैन दिखाई दिया या कोई अदर पिक्चर क्रिएट होकर फॉर्म होकर कुछ और दिखाई दिया ठीक है बट इफ दिस हाउस इज टेकन डाउन नाउ द पोइट इज टेलिंग कि इफ द हाउस इज टेकन आउट मीन्स इफ इट इज नॉट देयर If the sky and all the sky is bare, if the sky is empty, means if it is no moon night, then go to bed because of course, then don't keep on waiting. Go to bed because of course the poor man won't be there. If the moon is not there, you are not going to find out the man also who lives in the moon. So this was our poem. So I hope you understood. Now. have you noticed that uh, when i have recited this poem so there was a rhythm hmm why this rhythm was there because the poem is having a rhyming scheme yes rhyming scheme means that the poem is having some some pairs of rhyming words that's why we can have that rhythm that that's why we can recite it with a rhythm so let us try to find the rhyming words first then we will see what is the rhyming scheme of this poem okay so tell me there is a lovely house in the sky the sky rhyme with any word crown up down no so now next word is crown does it rhyme with any word yes it rhymes with down so in this stanza in these four lines we are having crown and down these two words are rhyming with each other house no way yes with say tonight no blind yes it is rhyming with fine then we are having bear it is rhyming with there very good so this poem is having actually four stanzas of four four lines can you see the full stops here after every four line yes it means it is having four stanzas okay and each stanza is having four lines so because it is sky so let us give a give this letter a then crown b because it is rhyming with down so this line will also be given the letter b and it is different so it will be given c so what is the rhyming scheme of first stanza a b c b and the same will be with second stanza actually the whole poem is having the rhyming scheme a b c b what does it means it means that second line of each stanza is rhyming with the fourth line of each stanza okay so this was our rhyming scheme now what you are supposed to do you have to learn this poem by heart okay and you have to recite it fine okay now let us move to our exercises book exercises let me show you what kind of book exercises you are having first we are having tick the correct so first is what is the house in the sky the moon star or balloon yes we know the moon why does the poet say it takes two weeks to build it up and two to pull it down something eats up the moon after 15 days no moon disappears from the sky for 2 weeks no so absolutely the third one is correct that it grows into full moon in 15 days and next 15 days it grows smaller smaller and disappear from sky for one day according to the poet who lives in the silver house 
a lonely man why does the poet say his house is taken down and all the sky is bare moon is not visible for one day in a week no every 30 days we have a moonless night yes now we are having question answers what does the moon look like and why moon looks like a silver crown and why because it is round and shiny why does the poet think that a man lives on the moon because the dark patches resemble man's figure and face when does the man on the moon disappear when there is no moonlight who do you think is the man who lives on the moon again the same answer that the dark patches resembles man's figure and face do you think moon is useful to us in any way how think think yes it is earth's natural satellite and it help us in many ways it uh, help us to look around in dark night when there is no light no other light around okay rest uses you have to find out fine and after that we are having word word here you have to refer the dictionary and find three different meanings in for these words first is blind so blind one meaning is the covering of the window which is introduced by the poem itself okay rest two different meanings you have to find out from the dictionary and crown again one meaning has been introduced by the poem that it is used for english coin rest two you have to find out from the dictionary now we are having a grammar portion here we have to learn that nouns can have singular or plural both forms and how can we change a singular form into plural by adding s but if a noun ends with x c h s or sh or ch buzzing sound then we have to add es and the noun ending in noun y but preceding the y preceded by a consonant sound then i will change in y will change into i and we will add es and if our y is preceded by a vowel then y will not be changed and simply s will be added and if a noun is ending in o preceded by a consonant then we will add es so here are some exercises for you okay like spy now y is following p p is a consonant sound and when it is following a consonant what we are supposed to do we have to change the y into i and then we will add es now it is bus it is ending with s buzzing sound so you have to add es right so in this way you have to finish it the next is nouns yes we will not do it in detail it is just a revision we will do this topic in detail when it will be introduced in our grammar book okay but here is just a revision what you have already learnt in your third standard so you already know what is a proper noun the noun which is used for a particular person place or thing or animal which is one of its kind you have to highlight it with red color and the common noun which can be used generally for any person place thing or animal of that kind right and you have to highlight it with the blue color now let us read it has latika gone to spain so here we are having and the major difference in proper and common noun proper starts with capital letter and common starts with small letter so two nouns we are having in this sentence latika and spain so you have to highlight it with red and blue color and preferably use pencil colors okay this is spain right 
and then in july we will go to kerala again what is this july and kerala are proper so it will be highlighted with red i put some coins in my piggy bank so here we are having coins which is a common noun and piggy bank is again a common noun right so we will highlight it with blue color so in this way you have to highlight all the common and proper noun by using blue and red pencil color fine now let's move to next exercise now read these sentences crowd has gathered outside the stadium boy was attacked by a swarm of bees herd of buffaloes had blocked the traffic the school of fish swam past a pack of wolves attacked the rabbits police caught the band of thieves so the highlighted words are groups name yes and groups names are known as collective noun right so now we are having an exercise where we have to match the collective nouns a flock of you are already aware that a flock of bird hmm a gang of thieves in this way you have to match it now read these sentences and put the highlighted noun in proper column so here we are having two columns nouns you can see or touch and nouns you cannot see or touch the nouns we cannot see or touch are abstract nouns so the boy can you see boy touch it yes so it will be written in this honesty and bravery these are the qualities name we cannot see or touch so we will write it here right in this way you have to sort these all nouns in these two columns now next we are having underline the abstract nouns in these sentences live in peace can you touch peace no see peace no so peace is the abstract noun in these rest of the sentences you will try to do it yourself ma'am will provide you the the answers in pdf file and then you can match it now here we are having a writing section as well look at the picture and write a paragraph describing it this you have to do in your notebook you have to describe this picture okay we can start it like this that it is a moonlit night okay dotted with stars right and the crescent sky uh, moon is hanging over the sea right crescent is the shape this shape is known as crescent so the crescent moon is hanging over the beach or there are some houses on the beach palm trees are also there on the beach ah. so in this way you can describe these tides and you can describe the greenery here okay and in this way you have to write a paragraph of six to eight lines only don't write lines you have to write a paragraph don't give numbers to your lines okay write the six to eight lines in a paragraph form so this was our exercises now i hope the poem as well as the exercises are clear to you so what you are supposed to do first you have to look at the moon when there is a full moon night and you have to try to find out the man described by the poet right and then you have to learn this poem by your heart and you have to try to recite it right and the third homework is you have to do the notebook work word meaning question answers answers will be provided by me and you have to copy it in your notebook okay and then you have to try to solve the book work as i have told you as i have explained it to you and then you have to match your answers with the ma'am's answer okay and you have to do a writing skill as well in your notebook so everything is clear okay 
So complete it and we will meet in our next class. Bye class 4th.